All right. <clears throat> shalom, wam, shalom, wam, to the elect of the nation of Israel. Before I get started, call halal, wa kabad, al Yahweh ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. All praise and all glory to the Heavenly Father, whose true and proper name is Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, whose true and proper name is Yahweh Shai, ba Hashem, Rachakwadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my apostles and my elders, the great millstone, who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honest my fellow I can push the word and true faith sincerely across the four corners. And shalom wam to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the Men and Doctrine Great Millstone. This is the brother Yadai from the GMS Atlanta Church. Coming with another um, spiritual in transit. Um <clears throat> gonna just go into man the fact that um it's like you um uh, <clears throat> our people are sick, man. Our people are legit sick, okay? Our people are sick, man. Our people are spiritually sick, all right? Now, this is going to be in transit, but um, before I really get into it, I'm going to just kind of just stop driving for a minute and read a few verses and then kind of just let the spirit um, flow, all right? This is... um. <clears throat> This is uh, Isaiah, the first chapter, uh, Isaiah 1. Um, I'm going to slide to verse 3, all right? The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Most High. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and uh, putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence. And it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. All right. I'm going to end it there, man. Um, you know, just off those you know, few verses alone, you know, <clears throat> you can really see how that 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 spirit of spiritual sickness continues in our people today you know and it's it's worse like man our people are sick man all right and i'm not even necessarily in the spirit of right now just like getting on jake or cursing jake out i'm really in the spirit right now of going into the importance of the prophets and the men of the lord yahweh all right because not only not only are our people sick, our people are literally on their spiritual deathbeds, all right? But the crazy thing about this <laughs> the crazy thing about this uh you know, the fulfillment of these of these prophecies are our people have no idea that they're even sick. That's how crazy this is, man. All right. And you know, there's a few things that prompted me to, to, to go into this particular topic and this lesson um at this moment i'm just gonna you know like i said i'm just letting the spirit work through me man you know but there's a few things that prompted me to do this lesson and on this topic one thing i said i'm just gonna just be real man like sometimes even doing this work even doing this work, sometimes you 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 question or you doubt if you're doing enough, all right? And of course, we all can and we all should and we all hope to desire to do more. But sometimes you gotta just stop and just think like we're doing so much more, you know, through the the, the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're doing so much more than the the average Israelite, so-called. We're doing so much more than the average Jake out here that it's like, keep doing it, man. You know, keep doing it. Keep doing what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? And 
you know, I believe in the spirit that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the Holy Spirit are going to be the entities that bring the increase, man. You know, but you know what's just real about the situation of our people, man, is that, like Isaiah said in the first chapter. Our people don't even consider. Our people don't even consider what the hell is going on around them, man. Our people. Now you know, I say this. It's good to speak about you know when you when when a man's a child he thinks thinks as a child, but when a man's a man he's supposed to operate and think as a man. You know what I'm saying? Now, speaking of personal experience, I didn't grow up in a household. All right, that. Um identify as being an Israelite. I didn't grow up in an Israelite or a so-called Jewish household. You know what I'm saying? Barely even like spoke about, talked about religion or anything of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, like <laughs> a lot of typical, you know, so-called black households, you went to church, you know, you went to church, you know, churches, you know, they you, you, you picture in the world maybe you know once every year or two you know what i mean then there were certain times you know that i went on my own and then as a, really as a, i got a certain age in which i was going to church on my own okay now which in which we know that's off <laughs> you know now you know what i'm saying when scripture speak about israel having a, a zeal a, a zeal for the most high but not according to knowledge so i mean that, that even that alliance with the spirit of an Israelite is having that zeal, but not according to knowledge, you know. But I would like to think, and I, of course, I can't say this with full with full certainty because it didn't happen. But I would like to think that if I did grow up in the household in which I knew I was an Israelite, and you know, that my father, you know, what I'm saying, was no no knocks on my father because the most sight. The, everything's operate on the most high schedule. So I'm not even saying this as a knock to my father. But I'm just saying, I'm just trying to put myself in, a, you know, in, different, in a different perspective, in a different situation, so to speak. I would like to think that if I grew up in a household in which I knew I was an Israelite, that I would have stayed, I would have stayed in, you know, in trying to move in that spirit and in righteousness. All right. Scripture speak about uh, rearing up a child. Okay. And him and him, you know, uh, coming back, you know, to the way that you raise him, you know, Luke, very loosely paraphrasing, you know. But what's so crazy is, and it's all, of course, it's all according to, to, to biblical prophecy and the time, the timing and time frame of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But what's so crazy is the majority of our people don't even consider not only what's really going on around them in the through a spiritual lens, don't even consider, just truly consider who the creator is, all right? Because if our people really went into the scriptures the way that our the way that our teachers, our our, our um you know, our teachers, our elders and our apostles did, and the Holy Spirit was working with them, then it'll be evident. Certain things will just be evident. You know what I'm saying? Certain things will be evident. Even as far as why our people are so jacked up, all right? Because you get all these uh, ideologies, all right? So-called uh, conscious community, all right? So-called Christian, so-called Christian church, all right? The the, the Islamic community, community. You got the, the atheists and the Scientologists, all right? You got you got the uh, uh, just straight coonery, all right? Coonery might as well be an ideology. All right, you got the whole like uh, uh, messianic type of uh, energy and vibration that JV moving in. Well, and, and, no, there's countless others, man. You know, I'm just naming, I'm just naming a few. All right, but as far as getting down to the nitty gritty and actually, not just not just reading the Holy Bible and the Holy Scriptures, but actually delving into it to see, you know, to 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 get the meat up, the meat off the bone, as we say. You know what I'm saying? Jake don't be doing that, man. Jake don't be doing it, and if they do do it. They do it in a completely off spirit for uh, 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 mal malicious purposes, man, you know, and that's why, you know, and that's why I would say if for me to not be raised in the household in which I was raised to um, to, to uh, 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 strictly adhere to 
the law, statutes, and commandments as um, was commanded of Israel to not be raised in the household like that. I'm, I, I'd rather be not, not raised nothing else, man, and just, you know, formulate my own opinion, which, you know, we know is off, all right? Uh, the the heart is the heart is desperately Jeremiah seventeen and nine, all right. Above all, the heart or the heart is desperate, desperately wicked. Okay, but I believe also in that same chapter, the Most High goes into uh, uh, try, trying the reins, man, trying the reins. And if you have reins, reins on an animal do what? It, it makes it move, all right. It makes it move, and it gives the animal a sense of direction, all right. So even even in the offness of not moving in the holy in the true essence of the holy spirit and the true understanding of the holy scriptures at least the the most high trying to re the reins of my heart the reins of my mind I, I i like to think and i hope and pray that the most High saw some type of uh, uh earnest sincerity about it man you know what i'm saying and me really trying to not just me just seeking the, uh, the the truth man the truth all right and the truth is yahweh bashim yahweh shai is in complete full control all right, even going down to, all right, Jack and Jake up, man. All right, in which we getting back to to the, the subject at hand that our people are sick, man. Our people are sick. All right, you know, Jake is sick out here, man. Jake don't know what is going on. All right, and what's so crazy about it is and this. So that, speaking on what I spoke about earlier, that's one. That was one thing or a couple things to kind of you know put the spirit on me to, to 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 get into this lesson at this time all right but another thing is seeing seeing the strength seeing the the strength of the spirit of our people at some at times is unfathomable man all right it is unfathomable to see the strength of our people at times man that people are stop in the our people have such a strong, enduring spirit. It bl it's mind blowing at times, man. All right, <laughs> here it is. Our people have been in, have been under a constant attack. All right, uh, all types of uh, uh, direct warfare, indirect warfare, social social engineering. All right, biological warfare, uh, psychological warfare. All right. Uh, uh, any, any type of uh, manner of war that you can that you can think about. All right. Our people have have uh, been experiencing and going through it. Uh, even including even including hardcore bondage or hardcore slavery. All right. And our people. March 13th, uh, 2019, the year of Karagman. Our people still are, ain't breaking. That's that's that is what's so crazy, man. That is what's so crazy to see, you know. And even and even um going back to the prophecy once again, I, I, I believe I mentioned this in my last in transit, going into the prophecy of uh, Jacob and Esau. All right, in which um, the prophecy is speaking about uh, one nation shall be strong. The, one nation shall be stronger than the other, because if you put, if you put, oh, let's just let's just stick with that particular prophecy, man. If you put Esau, <laughs> all right, in the same predicament in which Jake had to go through, and when I say Jake, I, I'm, I'm including the entirety of the nation of Israel, all twelve tribes, man. All right, the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latinos, the so-called uh, West Indians, the so-called uh, 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 Central and South Americans, all right, the so-called uh, Native Americans, the so-called Seminole Indians, all right. When you really look at everything that our people as a whole had to go through, man, all right, Esau, Esau wouldn't have make it. Esau, the little bit of the little bit of pressure that that, that these Edomites be feeling now, they be damn near ready to commit suicide on a daily basis, man. You know what I'm saying? Here it is, Esau is in his kingdom. Now, of course, the majority of Edomites that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, they're low-level Edomites. You know what I'm saying? They're not. They're not living, you know, uh, you know, in in the, in the former fashion in which a king or a prince will live. But relative to Jake, 
Esau, man, Esau got a whole lot of goodies and a whole lot of benefits because this is the kingdom of his people. You know what I'm saying? But Esau be the main one on the job bitching and complaining about every little thing. All right? Esau be the, Esau be the one, you know what I'm saying, um, catching hell. You know, now, of course, Jake catch hell at home from his, from his, his woman and his kids and stuff like that. But Esau be catching hell and can't and he can't deal with it because his spirit isn't as strong. All right. His his spirit of him being the elder, it, it, you know, in that prophecy is not as strong as the spirit of the uh of the younger man of, of Jacob. Catching hell, man. All right, drinking and driving, catching DUIs. <laughs> oh man. You know, all types, you know, uh uh not you know now Esau's had you know two three four five kids all right now they're growing up in this society in which uh, there's all this pressure on wages all right the wage pre the wage pressure is kicking his ass but you got you got uh, inflation kicking in all right and then you know uh, es Esau's trying to um, push the idea of the so-called American dream on his children you know so they can they can uh, <laughs> hope to you know. Eat, eat in their so-called society, but the elite, the elites of his nation are making it harder and harder, and more expensive for um for these Edomites to send their children off to to so-called good, high-quality schools, man. All right, in which, man, I love it, man. I love it. The Wadi Halbashim, I was shot. I love it. All right, because even going, even thinking about, you know, I, I myself, I went to college, whatever, but thinking about. You know, certain things you hear these Edomites say in college. Well, you don't, you're only here because of affirmative action, you know, and all that bullshit. What? Well, I'm not saying like I'm not saying that as if college is the way, but I'm just saying I'm just bringing this point up because it's 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 it's, it's news, man. All right, now you got you got it coming out where you have these uh these rich these rich Edomites paying 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 uh the way for their children to go to these elite schools in which. Duh, I mean, of course it happens, man. You know what I'm saying? But that is that's just I I, I say the Wadi Halbashim Halbashim effect coming out because that just goes to show you the hypocrisy of this of these people, man. The hypocrisy of these people, and also the brainwashing, the brainwashing of of these American peons, man. These Americans are peons, man. All right, and here it is. Once again, the Wadi Habash, I was shocked because here it is, the um, the wisdom, the wisdom of the of uh, of, of Esau is full of him, man. All right, and through and through the foolishness of preaching, man, and the belief in the in the prophecies and the covenants and the holy scriptures, through the foolishness of us claiming these words on these highways and byways and through these video epistles on YouTube, we are doing our part to crumble Esau Edom society, man. Okay. But a big part of us crumbling this society is us realizing that our people are sick, man. All right? Our people are sick. Our people are so strong in the spirit. And it's just, it's just natural. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you got, you know, you got some, you got certain, um, certain people who just have, who just have natural ability. All right? It can be, it can be a, a, a certain person who's never touched a soccer ball a day in his life. He goes on. He goes on the soccer field. He plays around the ball for 30, 45 minutes, and he's he's out there moving like uh uh fucking Pele, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or uh, uh never pick up a baseball bat or a golf club. Well, golf is a little different. I say that. Never pick up a baseball bat or a basketball. You give him you give him the bat or a ball, and he's just like man, like he like he's been playing for for years, man. You know? But that that's just a, a innate innate natural spirit. You know, the strength of the spirit that our people, all right, the Israelites, once again, consisting of ne so called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, all right, so called Native Americans, so, so called Seminole Indians, so called uh, West Indians, all right, and so called Central and South Americans, man, all right, that goes into the, 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 the value, the value of the strength, all right, that our power, our power, Yahweh, who is, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, the true and proper name of the Heavenly Father, all right, and Yahweh Shai, which is the true and proper name of our Lord and Savior. All right, the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. All right, that's the power and the value 
all right, of the spirit that our powers, all right, put in our, in our fleshly vessels, man, okay? But with all that being said, our people are sick, man, all right? Matter of fact, let me see if I can get this real quick. No. Uh, All right, this is uh, Matthew chapter 9. We start at verse... I want to start a little higher, but, you know, I'm on a move, so i got to kind of get to the point. This is Matthew chapter 9, verse 8, and it says, uh, But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified the Most High, which had forgiven, which had given such power unto men. And as Shai passed forth from thence, he saw, now this is actually where I want to get and um, and as Yahweh Shai passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting on the receipt of custom, and he saith unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. Verse 10. And it came to pass, as Yahweh Shai sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples and when the pharisees saw it they said unto his disciples why eat if your master with publicans and sinners but when yahweh heard that he said unto them they that behold need need not a physician but they that are sick but go ye and learn what that meaneth i will have mercy and not sacrifice for I am not come I am not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance okay and um and publicans uh, the 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 occupation or the role or uh, duty of a public is were pretty much uh, tax collectors all right so people you know people especially Jake hated you know uh publicans man all right, because they, they, you know, they work, they work for the, um, the Roman, the Roman government, and they was coming in, and uh, you know, tasked with taking the, uh, the tax money, man. All right, especially as um, the Roman Empire was coming to an end, uh, those Edomites, they were, uh, well, the, those, the, the Roman authorities, I should say, because Jake wrote it wrong too, but those um, in Rome, the Roman authorities and the Roman government. They were taking more and more uh, 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 in taxes, man. So people <laughs> really hated the publicans, man. All right, and then of course you had the Pharisees. The Pharisees were put on that whole, you know, front of uh, uh, you know the law, the law, the law, and kind of had that whole spirit pushing the whole spirit of holier than thou, and you know the, the, the untouchables and you know spiritual untouchables, things of that nature. So the the thought of you know, being amongst sinners, you know, it was a, it was a, a, a very uh, pushed away concept for a Pharisee, all right, to be to be in the presence of a sinner, you know. But that goes into you know once again the importance of Yahweh Shai, man, and the fact that man, our people are sick, man, our people are sick. All right, spiritually, man. All right, our people are are in the committing all all forms, all sorts of idolatry. All right, whether it be the so-called uh, white Jesus, all right, the, the other white meat, all right, which we know is um that that whole imagery, you know, and that uh that form and fashion of iconoclasm, it's actually a depiction of a uh, uh, Cesare Borgia. All right, would it be the the the, the, the the worshiping of the, the, the Virgin Mary, all right, and that's that's really pushing the whole energy of uh, uh, woman worship, all right, and, and neglecting it really, it really it uh, worshiping 
the Virgin Mary really uh, uh, separates you from the Messiah because you, you're not you're not you're not putting the reverence to the reverence is due with the Messiah. You worshiping the so-called Virgin Mother, all right? In which in which Mary wasn't a a a, 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 fle- a, in a fleshly virgin, man. She was a virgin before um, uh, Joseph lay with her. All right, she was a virgin then. All right, in two forms. She was a virgin in the form of being a, a young lady, a lady who was young, young in age, and a, uh, and a virgin being a, a virgin or untouched in the flesh. You know, that goes into our people being sick, man. All right, and our people not considering uh, their their true powers, man. Okay, and also um, our people being laden with iniquity, and also here it is. Jake is in the, the midst of the, the land of their captivity, okay, and don't even can't even understand that we we were we we were were really a royal people. We still are, but we're in a lower state. But there was there was a time in which there was the kingdom of Israel. There was a kingdom of Israel, man. All right, you know in which real real Israelite men ruled, man. You know. But, you know, to kind of wrap up the whole the whole point of everything, that goes that, that goes into another reason why we had to be fervent and on fire, you know, and and do our part and push this message out and, and bidding those to the marriage. OK, the marriage is is, uh, is coming back to Yahweh Bashim Shai and ultimately to attain salvation man, through through uh, uh, taking heed to the Holy Spirit. OK. Trusting in our our true our true powers, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, okay, and trying our best to live in righteousness, man, okay. But I do want to say this as well: a big part of the healing of our people is the healing of ourselves, man, okay, because we can't we can't look at ourselves and and as the the old men, women, and children that we were. We have to look at ourselves as a new creation, a new creation in which. We were um, we were changed by the washing of this word, man. Okay, and also in doing so, we have to. Even though it's difficult at times, I will admit it's difficult at times. We have to also see the potential, okay, in our people, okay, because you know we say this when we say this pretty often, man. Everybody, everybody isn't a two third, man. All right, everybody isn't a two third. It might be some hardcore gangster Jake out here that. You're able to um, have a, have a part in bringing them to your how about Shim how was shot, all right? And you and you may have a part in helping them or members of their household attain salvation, man. Okay, because every Israelite, every Israelite will have the chance to attain salvation from the oncoming destruction that is to come in America and around the world. Okay, but how can how can one learn without uh how can one trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in in which he's not heard. The Apostle Paul said that. How can how can how can one uh trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in which he has not heard, okay? And how can how can one uh uh hear about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai lest someone teaches him, man. Okay? So as as far as our people being sick, we we have to recognize how sick our people are, man. All right, we have to do our part to allow ourselves to be to allow ourselves to be used as a vessel to give them the medicine. The medicine is what? The medicine is the word and the Holy Spirit. Okay? And how do we and how do we make our and how do we as as in the flesh enable Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to use us as the instrument to deliver the, the proper um uh medicine to that to that spiritual sickness? All right, it's through us uh, continuing to, to labor and being built up in the spirit of you in, in the spirit of the word and testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay. And um, and also pushing this word, man. All right, so I'm gonna close out and leave it there. I hope and pray this lesson was edifying. Once again, call Halal Wakubad Al Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All praise and all glory to the Heavenly Father, whose true and proper name is Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, whose true and proper name is Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhah, Mudash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my apostles, my elders, the great millstone, who lead, teach, and rule well. 
love and honesty, my fellow. I can push the word and true favor sincerity. Until next time, shalom.